Menon Choa here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, make sure to subscribe down below and make sure you also hit the bell notification so that you're notified every time I post a new video. I am posting two new videos every week. And then if you do want to follow me on social media, you can follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is jessamine 8 a I'll be also linking it down below as well so you can follow me on there. And so for this video that I'm making today, it's a Valentine's Day makeup look that you can use for your Valentine's Day, whatever you'll be doing that day, or also just another look that you can wear pretty much every day. This is a look I mainly, since I was gearing it towards a Valentine's Day look, I used a lot of pink colors, some reds, browns. I think this turned out really nice and beautiful. So if you want to know how I accomplished to get this look, please keep on watching. So to start up this makeup look, first you have to prep your face as always. I always like to use an eye cream, some moisturizer, and sometimes a serum as well. So for my under eye cream, I'll be using this Pharmacy Cheer Up Brightening Vitamin C Serum. So it's this one right here. I have been loving using this. I really do recommend this eye cream if you're looking for a new one. So with your finger, this is the ring finger, which is the weakest one. You apply it under your eye. And then I'm also going to be using a serum. I have this Clean Skin Club Vitamin C brightening booster so this is the serum i have been using it for quite some time now and i'm almost like done with it so i really do love this serum and so i'll be applying it this all over my face just a few drops on my hand i put on there and then i like to take my two fingers and just apply it all over my skin And then I'll be going in with the Clinique Moisture Search for my moisturizer. So it's this one right here. This is really hydrating, really lightweight. And I have just been loving this moisturizer for everyday use. So the next step would be to apply a moisturizer on your skin. This is really important, especially when you know that you're going to be going outside, getting some sun exposure, even if it's not too hot. And there have been two sunscreens that I have been loving the most. The first one is the Hangover Good To Go Skin Protection. So this is like a moisturizer with some SPF as well. So this is SPF 25. And then the other one is this one by Shiseido. This is the ultimate sun protector cream. This is 50 plus. So I have been loving this one especially when it is hotter outside because it really does protect your skin and it's more of a stronger sun protector especially for the summertime. I have been really loving this one. So here it is. So today, since I'm not really planning to go outside too much, I used the lighter one by Too Faced. So then to start out the makeup, I always like to start out by putting a primer on my face. There have been two that I have been loving recently. The first one is by Too Faced. It's the Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. So this is what the primer looks like. And then the other primer I have also been loving is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. So this is what it looks like. So I have been loving mainly for like everyday use, more of an everyday primer. When I do want to go out, maybe planning on taking pictures and all of that, I do like the Too Faced one a little bit more, so for this look, since it's going to be a Valentine's Day look, I'll be using the Too Faced primer. So I just put a couple of pumps on my hand, and then I spread it all around. And 
and then after the primer I'm gonna go ahead and go apply my foundation so I always use my beauty blender for my foundation so I always wet it beforehand so it's really nice and soft it just makes the foundation go on a lot more smooth and so I have been loving using the beauty blender for my foundation the foundation that I use is the Urban Decay All Nighter I am in the shade 7.75 so here's what the foundation looks like. So this is a foundation that I have been using for many years now. And I really love it. It's matte, it's full coverage, but it doesn't feel too thick on your skin. So I just put about a pump and a half into my beauty sponge. And then I just go ahead and dab it all over. And then I just blend it in. And make sure you blend it down your neck as well. So after I am done with my foundation, I like to go in with my concealer. The concealer that I have been using for quite a while now is the Tarte Shape Tip Concealer. I know a lot of people love this one. I use the shade Medium. So this is what the concealer looks like if you have not seen it already. So just like that. And then I just blend it out. So after I am done with the primer and the foundation and concealer and all of that, I like to set my face with a setting powder. I've been losing, using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Here it is. So this is the setting powder that I have been using for many years now. So I just take my brush that I use from Murphy. It's the E3 from Murphy. I have been loving this brush for putting powder on my face and then I kind of baked the under eye so I put a little bit more under the eyes and then I put some just all over the face. So after I set my face I like to go into my eyebrows. For my eyebrows I have been using the Dip Brow from Anastasia. So I use it in the color dark brown. Here's what it looks like. And then this is the brush that I use. Just this, And I just brush it through really lightly. And then what I like to go is go with my Benefit Give Me Brow gel. So I go in with the gel afterwards just to brush them out. And I think the gel gives it a more natural look after going in with the dip brow. So I went ahead and I finished my eyebrows. This is what it looks like. I know that they might look a little bit bold right now. It's just because I haven't finished the rest of my makeup. So now I'm gonna go ahead and finish the face. So what I like to do with my face is I like to go with some powder, bronzer, and blush, and a little bit of highlight. So I'll be doing that now. For my bronzer, the one that I have been loving recently is the Hula Benefit Bronzer. So I know this is a bronzer that a lot of people love and I love it as well. as well. I think it looks really nice with my skin tone. So I just go in with my brush. This is the brush that I use. It's a Murphy brush that is used for blending out the contour, the bronzer. So I go into the, my cheeks. And I just go in kind of like a triangle motion, but a little bit more up at the end. And don't go in like too much into your face. Try to keep it like here at the end of your eye and back. So after I finish my cheekbones, what I like to do is going into my nose. So what I do is I take some and then I flatten it out with my two fingers like this. And then I go on the bridge of my nose on each side. And then a little bit at the tip like this. 
So that's what I do with my nose and then I put a little bit on my forehead, on the edge of my forehead as well. So for blush, I'll be using this blush palette that I got from Ace Butte. This is the Blushed in Paradise palette. This is what it looks like. And so it has a lot of beautiful colors, as you can see. So what I'll be doing, I want more of a peachy look, so I'll be taking in the first two and using them on my cheeks. So now that I'm done with my blush, I'll be applying a little bit of highlighter. The one I'll be using is from Becca, it's the Champagne Pop highlighter. I have this sample one that I got from Sephora. I love this color, I think it just looks really beautiful. So I'll just be taking this brush. This is from... So I'll be going in with my highlighter brush and I'll just be putting it on my cheeks. And then a little bit on the bridge of my nose as well. And on my cupid's bow. So for my eyeshadows, I'll be using the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. This is what the palette looks like. So I love this palette. It has a lot of beautiful colors. These are the colors right here. And so I'll be going in with my blending brush first. So the first color that I'll be using from this palette is the Eden color, which is this one right here. It's like a light pink color. As you can tell, I really love it because I'm almost done with it. And then I just apply it on my crease. So after that, I'll be going in with Desert Sand, this light color. And I'll be going into my eyebrow, like as close to the eyebrow as possible. Just at the top there, just to give it a little bit of highlight. So now I'll be going in with a more tapered brush, the 28 by Murphy. And then I'll be going into this color called Saffron. It's this beautiful red color right here. So I'll be taking it. And then going really into the crease a little bit more lightly, just on the edge of the eye here. So after that, I'll be going in with an even more tapered, smaller brush. This is also by Murphy. It's the M506. This is what it looks like, so it's even more tapered and smaller. And I'll be going in with the colored OUD. It's this brown color here on the edge. And so I'll be using that also on the crease, but even in smaller motions and only at the very edge of your eye. So this was to darken up the makeup look a little bit more, make it more of a smoky eye look, but not too dark. That's why I'm not using the color black, so just a dark brown just to darken it up a little bit. So now to finish up this makeup look, what I'll be doing is taking in this color Cosmo. So this is a really glittery color. Has a lot of different colors, has like pinkish, brownish, gold, and like a copper color as well. So I really love this. So I'll be using this with a flattened brush, the one I used before. This is the Murphy M167. And then I'll just be taking it lightly, pressing on the powder glitter, and then I'll just be putting it on my eyelid. So the glitter didn't really work out, so what I have to do first is go in with the Max Mixing Medium. So it's kind of a glitter glue that I'll be using. So I'll just be taking a little bit and putting it on my eyelid. So after you put that Mixing Medium, 
the glitters will stick to that. So now I'll be going at back with the Cosmo glitter and putting it on the eyelid there. So I always like to put a little bit of the same eyeshadows that I put on my eyelid and my under eye. So on my bottom eyelid, just really close to the waterline. So I like to use a small brush for this. So I'm using the Murphy Y22. It's this one right here. And then I'll be going in with the color Eden and then with the color Saffron. So I'll be using them both. So I'll be using this Stila glitter and this is in the color Kitten Karma. So I'll be just taking a little bit of this and just putting it on the inner corner right there. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, I added some glitter. If this is a little bit too much for you, you can just omit that part. So now I'll be going in and doing a winged eyeliner. I like to go in with the Murphy Felt Tip Eyeliner. This is in the color ink, just the black color. And then I just like to create a wing on there. I do this pretty much every day. So I'll just be doing it here as well. So now I'll be going in and curling my eyelashes and putting some mascara as well. So as you guys can see, this mascara really does make your eyelashes look really big. I just put a couple of coats. I actually like to go in first and go through the inside of the eyelash, so like the other way. And then I go on the top like you regularly do. And I feel like this really makes the eyelash look more lifted and voluminous. So that is it for the eyes. And then for my lips, I wanted to use a color that I really love. It's by Fancy Beauty. This is the Uncuffed Stunna Lip Paint. So this is what it looks like. So that is what the lip color looks like. I feel like I want to darken it up a little bit. So I'm going to be adding a lip liner. This is a lip crayon. This is by the Kenya Ontiveros brand. It's in this brownish color called OMG. And so I'll just be applying that some on the edge of my lips. So that just darkened up the lips a little bit as you guys can see. But this is the final makeup look. I think I'll also be adding some fake eyelashes just to make it a little bit nicer and more glamorous. So I'll be putting in my fake eyelashes and then I'll be right back with you guys. So I went ahead and applied my fake eyelashes. I used the Demi Wispies by Ardell. So these are just some simple fake eyelashes, but I think they look super natural. And they just open up your eye, makes it look a little bit bigger. So I really like this look. Let me know if you guys liked how this Valentine's Day makeup look turned out. If you guys did like it, please make sure to like the video. And then comment down below if you would wear this for your Valentine's Day date or anything else that you'll be doing that day. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this Valentine's Day look. My new video is also going to be a Valentine's Day related. It's going to be a lookbook for some outfit ideas that you can wear for your Valentine's Day celebrations, whatever you'll be doing that day. And so keep a watch out for that video. It's coming out in a few days. And so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. And please keep supporting me and following me on my journey here on YouTube. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.